stuff everybody as always welcome to the shop uh all this talk about this little stove this little peak one stove i was like you know i'm gonna go digging through my gear i used to be a real uh avid canoeist believe it or not i know i'm a big guy now but in my day i loved to canoe and camp and uh I always uh, tied my gear in with uh, these big army bags. I still got another one put away, but I uh, went and got my army bag. And I was looking through, and whenever I was camping, we used to camp on an island. I used a Peak One Expedition Stove, and this is the stove that I used. I bought it new a long time ago. I hadn't had it out in years. But this is what it looks like. And uh, like I say, you know, it, canoeing and camping is a, almost, it holds hands with backpacking. You want to pack light. I put all my stuff in that bag where I could tie it into my canoe. But this stove would uh, buckle out and I had a two burner stove. And I, I mean, this I used it a lot, and it took. Uh, I've still got a bunch of this fuel, but it took this. There's still fuel in this, but you popped it in there. Now this one's got rust on it now, and I don't know. It may leak. I hadn't tried this stove in years. I don't know how to work on it. I can hear it leaking. Hold a minute. If I wait. Let's see if we can get our stove to fire. I heard it, and now it seems quiet. Wish you could see better. Oh, it's sketchy. Let's see here. You maybe I hear it. Oh, it's the wrong burner. It's this burner back here. Let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can do that. This thing is old. I can't believe it's burning. This thing would heat water quick. Look at this. Let's get you a good look. How cool. That was my stove of choice. 
for a backpack, I mean, ca uh, canoeing. It's a backpacking stove, but you know, great double burner canoe stove. Hey, how cool. <clears throat> but, so I had this as my stove, my go-to stove. I'm just going to set it out of the way for right now. And now we're going to talk about the mess kit, which was also a peak one. And these miles on this, but uh, this is great, great equipment for the canoeer. Backpackers may do it a little different. It's good backpacking stuff. It's, it's a little roomy. It takes up a little room. But like I say, for, for what I was doing, this was great stuff. See, Lord, this is probably old. A little salt and pepper in the bottom. Uh, some eating utensils. And a box of matches. Let's look in here. You got your little pan. Comes with a little stainless cup. Man, I remember I used to make a lot of chicken Alfredo with uh, cans of uh, chunk chicken and Alfredo noodles and bowl water. I'd take water in in a five gallon bucket. Not a bucket, but uh, it's a Coleman. Uh, it's like a jug, you know, a dispenser, but it's five gallon. I'd strap it in the canoe. See, all that stuff says peak one on the bottom. But like I say, this stuff's been used hard, and look how good a shape it's still in. And then, how many more? Let me fold this stuff down. This is all stainless. Good, good stuff. Like I say, this is, gosh, this was in the, the 90s when I bought this. 94 something I don't know a while back and uh, it's still in great shape and many trips the bags wearing out many trips down the river and then I had this other I say I uh, made chicken Alfredo I, I got peak one too but uh, you know a little bigger pots and pans I used to fix deer tenderloin, believe it or not. On the islands, be camping on the islands, I'd be frying deer tenderloin in this little pan right here. It's a little burn on the bottom, but I use it, you know. And that's what it's for. Right here is what I use to make my chicken Alfredo in. Make a big pot. You know, I'm never. I'm. Does anybody actually know what this is for? I uh, I never used it, but it came with the kit. I think there may be a piece missing from this kit. I'll have to dig back through my bag better because this lid. There's a there's a pot missing. This lid don't fit on nothing. My son may have got into it and needed something to use. But uh, I, know I never thought about sharing this with everybody, and it's cool to share. And I'm shocked that my old stove fired up. The bad thing is that fuel, even though I've got a lot of that fuel, them canisters, it's hard, it's hard to find anymore. Coleman don't make it. I've heard somebody said that they may have a, uh, I don't know, some kind of... Uh, conversion or an adapter to put something else on them old stoves but uh that's pretty cool hey man as always i appreciate you and uh i hope you enjoy this video i know it ain't no big deal uh you know it's just simple living 
And uh, I'm gonna have to do me a coffee challenge for Rob and Steve using this stove soon. But uh, all right, man. Everybody take care.